At Geico, we like to say that life doesn't end with cancer. Every day, our survivors show us just how strong they are by continuing their lives despite their battle with cancer. We encourage our members to get out and live their lives by going to support groups, family activities, and enjoying hobbies. We were even able to capture these activities on the following video. A perfect spring day in the Ozarks. A great day to be around horses. I used to dream about them when I was a little kid. Yes! Or to spend time with the grandkids. Or maybe an aerial workout with your teenage daughter. And it's like a bonding time for us. Meet Tommy, Sharon, and Melissa. All three women are making every single day count. I'm not in control of my life. God is, he's got a plan, and I'm along for the ride. We like to say that we have an attitude of gratitude. Tommy, good job, Tommy. Good it's job. been 25 years since Tommy rode horses regularly. And now she's back at it and glad to be, because a few years back, Tommy, like the other women, was told she had cancer. It took me a couple years to even believe it. It was crazy. It was surreal. And I was very shocked because, again, I don't go to the doctor. I'm not sick. I'm on my fourth round of chemo, so yes, you can exercise and do what you love. It's kind of magical in a way, because it's like, you know, it's like you can't fly, so this is, <laughs> this is the next best get. thing. Making the most out of our life while battling cancer is not something any of us can do alone. And they don't, not when they have Geinka. Geinka is a great organization. I love them. And then we went to Geinka, and it was like, Everyone felt better. Geinka has a wonderful support system. A support system that includes a wig room and is in partnership with the Breast Cancer Foundation of the Ozarks and the Shelley Sachs Foundation. The wig room is a big part of Geinka's support effort, but they do so much more. Some people have to go to treatment every week. Some people go every three weeks. Some people are doing it every day of the week. You know, it just kind of depends on how aggressive your cancer is. And so we give them gas cards to and from that treatment. Actual items that they provide and the financial support that they provide, that's important, obviously. But the community, the sisterhood, yeah, that was, that was unbeatable. A community of people willing and eager to support each other, which is why we have gathered here today. All of us have our own connection to cancer, and all of us know this is something we can get through together. It's not a death sentence. Don't live your life that way. Keep on moving. No matter if you're on a cancer journey or not, just do what you're passionate about, and it'll make you happier and healthier. And cut. So I think we've got our first group ready. So what do you say? Should we start the show? everybody back to the stage one more time. Now to get a little bit serious after the fashion show, 
For some cancer patients, the diagnosis comes with an inability to work and the loss of health benefits. And without the ability to generate income, some of patients find themselves struggling financially and with medical bills. But that's where Geinka comes in. That's why this organization is so important because they offer financial aid to help pay for gas, non-medical emergency expenses, things such as rent, city utility bills, even car repairs. And currently, Geinka is on target to provide $75,000 of financial assistance for their patients. $75,000. That money will be used for auto repairs, gas cards, sometimes even for Christmas gifts. It helps patients concentrate on what's important, their healing. And it, they don't have to worry about their utilities being shut off or not being able to get to their appointments. I cannot thank you all enough for today. You've been a warm, welcoming crowd. I've really enjoyed being here and celebrating this incredible organization and the wonderful people who make this possible in Springfield.